Now we all love an icon. A few names that spring to mind for me, Kylie Minogue, David Bowie, Prince, Madonna. You know where we're going with this. And we have our own icons in The Sims 4. That being the iconic goth family. Now we've seen many iterations of the goths over the years in various different Sims games. Now the only problem with the goth household, especially in The Sims 4, is the house that they reside in. It's a little bit weird, it's a little bit ugly, it's a little bit too big. It's just very, very strange. So what we're going to do today is give that house a makeover. And here she is, Ophelia Villa. It's a complete base game build. And it's just very, very strange. Very, very strange. I'm going to point out a few things I don't like with it. And we're going to get to work on changing this. And I will go over how we're going to change it too. Because I don't want to take away the kind of feel and look to this too much. The fact that all of the walls are at a tall height. I hate working with the tall height wall in The Sims 4. So we're definitely going to be shifting that down to a medium. The huge triple wide staircase. I just don't like this hallway in general. So we're definitely going to be giving that a little bit of a mix up too. This really weirdly laid out kitchen. I just don't vibe with it at all. It just looks very disjointed. Like it just doesn't belong together. It's just odd. We will be giving that a bit of a mix up too. This really weird single bedroom on top of the whole build itself. It just looks very strange. I don't know what they were trying to achieve with this. So we're going to see what we can do with that as well. And just the general size of the build itself. I personally think it's too wide. So what we're going to do is actually try and stick with the same kind of shape, but make it look a little bit better, especially with the roof line. The roof line just doesn't work with me. That weird chimney that's kind of stuck there. And then you go downstairs to where the chimney is and it's on the other side of the wall. We're going to be changing all of that kind of good stuff. But I actually want you to be able to recognize this build as the goth's house. So I'm just going to reduce the size of everything down, but still keep the same footprint. I may change the floor plans around a little bit, but I kind of want to keep them semi the same. We're going to go for this dark vibe as well. And that's it. Let's get to it. First things first, I'm going to get rid of all of these windows because I think we're going to be choosing a different window. Now, I'm not going to be having any kind of limitation with packs with this build either, but I may just use a limited number of packs, maybe base game, vampires, all of that kind of good stuff. So I have completely gutted the goth's house. Yes, I have. So there is absolutely nothing in the floor plan at all. We're going to start from scratch, my loves. Yes, we are indeed. I think the only thing left to do now is, because I have reduced the size of the walls as well, we've put it down to a medium, I feel this house is way too wide. I just think it's too wide and it needs to be a bit more streamlined so we could even get some more landscaping going down the side of the house, but still keeping the shape. So that's what we're going to do now. And so here is the new improved basic shape of the goth house. Ignore the front doors on the gate there. I just haven't put them on the house yet. Now I've already been and gone and chosen. Well, we didn't really, I didn't change the floor plan too much. I still wanted the floor plan to reflect the original house. Um, we're going to go around in a minute, put all the trims on, all of the windows, all of that good stuff. We're going to do it together. I have already done it. Looks smashing. But I wanted you guys to have a little treat, you know? So... Here we are. I'm going to show you around. Now down into this level, the ground floor, I'm still unsure of these tiles yet. All I've used so far is base game and vampires. So I'm going to try and stick to that. I may use something from another pack here and there, but that is predominantly what I want to do. Yes, I do. So you can see I've obviously made the hallway or the entrance hall a lot smaller. I've I put a two wide stair in rather than a three wide. This is still going to be the living room. I have just changed around the shape slightly especially with like the bay windows. The bay windows were just too big and large. So we've still got bay windows everywhere where they were, but I've just reduced the side of it, size of it and made it look a little bit more of a better shape, to be honest. Kitchen in here, darlings. Kitchen in here, toilet. And this is going to be the dining room in that kind of like turret moment that we're going to have on the back there. Upstairs, this is where things have changed around a little bit more. So what we're going to do up here, landing, obviously, uh, I'm going to have Cassandra in this room here. Alexander's going to have this bedroom now. And there's going to be a spare bedroom down here. A smaller spare bedroom that I might even make into a nursery. Just in case the goth family do want to make the size of their family a little bit better. Uh, better? Bigger. Sorry. Um, 
bathroom and then upstairs i've gave mortimer and bella the very own master suite up on this level so they're gonna have their bedroom here and i'm gonna do a big very posh bathroom in this one here um but all in all this is the like the predominantly the shape of it and um, oh with the turret here i'm actually gonna do like a double height sort of moment there rather than having access up to here didn't really want to do that but it's still in line with the shape of the original house i've just perfected it a little bit better and made it more appealing to me and then this at the back here so that is that turret area there um same up here we're going to be putting fences and stuff up here it's all going to be gorgeous i've kept all the windows on this side for some reason including a bit of the trim and i don't know why i did that i should have took it off because it's ruined the illusion now but now what we're going to do first is put the trim on and we are going to use that gorgeous black trim from the sims 4 vampire bastards so that's what we're going to do darling yes we are indeed um people are just probably wondering vampire bastards it's a very niche reference from a sitcom um an all-female-led sit sitcom in the uk called titty titty bang bang <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of the most amazing sitcoms of uh, sitcoms i've ever watched I've, me and my friends used to absolutely piss ourselves to it it's definitely not for everyone it's a very it's very weird humor but i loved it i loved it and i was gutted when it ended so moving on anyway round to here no i'm going to start holding down shift so i can put everything where i want it to be round to this side please not on the chimney breast we've trimmed up that whole level there gorgeous stuff oh obviously as well we've made a chimney breast going all the way up gorgeous things right coming down to this level level <laughs> i'm gonna flop you into there i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put you on and then i'll um perfect things once everything's on here that was a lovely sentence aiden that really was that really was you wouldn't think that english is well the only language <laughs> the only language that i know because i do stumble over my words quite a lot i won't lie right i'm gonna get this one get this one get this one you are not invited neither are you hold down shift to do this love if you don't want to like delete all of it you hold down shift and it just deletes little segments just in case you didn't know that there's a little trick for you lovely jubbly now let's have a look through the front oh stunning yes yes indeed and then what i was going to do is use this fence here on all of the balcony areas around to here my love tuck you in there like that gorgeous and we're going to do the same around on this level too now you can probably see i've used a smaller fence a smaller base game one up on top of like the widow's walk is what they call it um and i like it i like how that's kind of yeah beautiful anyway moving on so i'm going to use these here from vampires these pillars from vampires i'm going to put one there one there we're going to do another one there and there i don't want to like swamp this area with them so I think I might just fit another two in on top of these ones here. So if I can do one there, is that equally spaced? I mean, it looks fine. So that's good enough for me. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. And then around onto this side, we, ha we only have to do this on the bottom level. So I think I might just do... Uh, in fact, I probably do need to get a couple more in like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. Yes. Now with this area, we'll do this now because we're here. So this is going to be the kitchen. So I did one like two windows like there. To reflect up on top of this one which goes into that bedroom there and then oh oh how dare you there we go um and then what i'm going to do is use these doors on the top level up here can we can we see this please let's get you in the middle there beautiful so that's right there and then we're going to do the other one there which is the entrance or the escape from the kitchen that's what we're going to do yes we are and then i'm going to use these windows I ended up not putting the windows around on this part, but I might do it just for the bottom one. Um, and the heights may change as well, because I, I do have to shuffle around the heights of these windows quite a bit. They do need to be kind of semi-up. The actual freezes themselves. Uh, I just like the height of that inside, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, you need to be a bit more there, my love. Um, we can do it from inside now. That'd probably be a lot easier. And then I'm going to flop these all the way around here. I might just do one on that side and then one more around about there. Are you lower? You are. There we are. Let me see. Let me have it. Let me have a look at you. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Oh, I'm going to do the same on the turret above. And how very dare this brick not change. So I've used the base game ornate bricks as well, just in that lovely matte black. I just think it really, really works on this house. So that's what we're going to do. Lovely, Jubbly. Let me have a little look at you. Oh, that looks smashing. Yes. Yes, indeed, Lee Joe. Okie jokey. So we'll make a start on the front of the house. So it was practically same as that the only problem with this lot 
is it's got very shit lighting i will say that um so yeah the front is practically the same as the back so that's what we're going to do i'm going to flop two of them there and another one there and the same up the top here as well and another one there and a gorgeous one right there my love and then this one here is going to stay there oh it's quite low did i do that on purpose maybe i need to move that up do i want to move it up to there yeah why not and get this base game door right into the main entrance there and then i use these double base game ones um i really i'm really liking these windows again now that we've got more swatches for them so i definitely need to utilize them a bit more because i've always really liked these windows i just never liked the swatches but now we've got like blacks and whites and all sorts haven't we love so i'm very much for it right and then you can go to there the same with that one and i did another one around here as well i'm sure i did I, uh, yep, I definitely did. I did. I absolutely did. Now, do I want to put this around on this point here? Oh, that, do I like that? It's not going to go around on that part, though. Do you know what? What I might do instead is just put on a bit more of a simple trim um, onto this. Why is it like doing that? Like, I've already chosen my wallpaper, thank you. Absolutely go to hell. Um, I might even put them around on these parts here as well. There we go. Gorgeous. Let me see you. Oh, yeah yes indeed very much for it that window does look a bit weird i know it reflects in one of these windows but I, I i think that's why i pulled that window down a bit lower because it just looked a bit off balance to me anyway and on these parts here let me filter my loves for a little bit of base game what i did here was put that one here because this also comes in some best watches as well and put one there and then i also put one on the back area here like that Oh, she's smashing. She's for it. She's cover girl. Yes, she is. Now, I'm just going to get on the rest of the windows onto this part. And also maybe perfect the windows down here too. And I'll be right back. And there we go. All of the windows on in the areas that I wanted them. Um, I actually changed the windows on the turrets as well. I forgot what I did. And I actually did like a double window with two single windows either side. I just prefer it. I just prefer how that looks. So that made me do it on this little bit of the turret here as well. Um, but all in all, a definite improvement. I also put in a little bit of access out onto that balcony from the main landing as well, up near the bedrooms. Um, and yeah, it's come together rather nicely indeed. Now you can obviously see I've kind of made a start on the um, landscaping. Um, I haven't touched the terrain painting at all, but I've just fenced in this garden area using the Hedge of Dreams. I'm not really going to use the garden for too much, I don't think. I just think a nice little patio area down there of some description. Uh, maybe a water feature and some terrain painting. Uh, and I think the exterior of the goth house, the new and improved goth house as far as I'm concerned, um, will be done. And there we are. I've just perfected the landscaping. I've done all the terrain paints as well. And I've done the back garden area too. Done the back garden area too. What we've done. What we've done, my loves. It's just a cheeky little uh, dining area outside. I may put in a barbecue, actually. I think what I'll do is flop a barbecue just there. A few little pots for them to grow stuff in. And we've gone for like an Edward Scissorhands goth moment with some topiary snippet, my loves. Uh, up on these balconies as well, I've put a little base game telescope out there too, with a little uh, bench. And I've also done that around the same side here. I've put some benches down on this part here. Don't know what we're going to do up here yet. I think what I want to do is put in a chess table. So we'll do that together before we move into the interiors. So I think we need to go to activities and skills and find a nice chess table that's going to actually fit in here. I mean, this one here is in black. That is gorgeous. So I'm going to flop you to there and choose a cheeky couple of chairs. And I'll just go for these ones here. A little bit comfy. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. Uh, I'm not going to do too much clutter and detail with this house. I still want it to have that EA feel to it. So a little bit empty here and there. That's what we're going to do. I want that to come across. So I want this to be able to run on all of your PCs or laptops or whatever you play it on. You know, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I think what I have to do is go in and pick all of the wallpapers and all of the flooring. I might change this tile. I'm not really feeling it for some reason. I don't know why. It might change when I get the wallpapers on, but we'll have a little look at it. And then I'll come back and we'll start furnishing the rooms. 
So I have chosen all of the wallpapers and the flooring. I'm actually going to stick with these tiles. I did say that once I get the floor and the wallpapers on, maybe I'll change my mind about the tiles. And I do quite like them now. And it's still paying that homage to the original colours in the house. You know, the reds, the purples. And that's what I've done upstairs. So with Cassandra's bedroom, we're going to go for a very violet look. And with Alexander's, we're going to go for a very deep red. I've kind of tiled the bathrooms as well on the... Um, walls in a very dark black uh, and just around the hallways and stuff I've gone for this very dark black but it's got that sheen of that vampire's wallpaper this one here we've just gone for a plain grey one uh, which I'm going to make into a nursery I am going to do it and then up here I've gone for the same grey wallpapers for uh, Alexander and Alexander Mortimer's and Bella's um, master suite which I'm, I've also wallpapered the uh bathroom i've also wallpapered the bathroom don't usually do that but i'm gonna go for a very dramatic moment in here because this doesn't have any windows i mean it's got dormers into it so we can just pretend that it does um i kind of feel like it just needed to be like a really comfy looking room rather than a tiled room and i might even put an extra fireplace in here as well so we'll see how we go now have i've already pulled out all of the stuff that i want for the living room so we're going to start putting that around together my loves yes we are in date we're going to go for the base game chairs I did try all the base game sofas even. I did try the uh, vampires ones, but they were just a little bit too dramatic for in here. They were a little bit too dramatic and they just didn't, they, they weren't vibing with me. So I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not. Right. I'm going to use, I think that was the perfect place that I had it. And I'm going to use this rug. We're going to go a little bit lighter with the tones in here rather than just going for all black. I've decided on keeping this just a little tad lighter. So that's what we're going to do. Just lift it up slightly, but just still give it that iconic goth edge. Yes. Now, I was very limited on bookcases, but this one here, I feel, just fitted the room a little bit better than the rest of them. Um, obviously, from base game, I think we've all seen that over the years. I'm going to put a little chaise, my love, into the uh, bay window over here. So Bella can sit down and lie down on it all dramatically. And I'm going to use this lamp and kind of overhang the lamp over on that area there gorgeous now above the fireplace we need a very dramatic moment so in comes vlad i'm gonna put a vladdy daddy up there my loves yes i am and um there's no storyline with that he's just there i'm gonna put this plant into the corner i thought this plant was perfect because it kind of reflects on the area we're in willow creek it's kind of got that very bayou um climate i think is that right well i would imagine yes um, and then over here as well, little little um, table on that point. I'm going to put some pictures above it. And I don't know what else to do on that. I might even chuck a couple of sconces over here. See what that looks like. Let's see if I, let's see if I can pull in a couple. And I hope that it doesn't look too crowded. Um, I mean, I could put them like there. And just size the picture down with the tool mod just slightly. If I size this down to like a 0.9. Oh nine i think that would be a bit better spatial awareness and all that yes yes definitely something up there but i haven't really chosen that just yet and maybe something over in this corner here as well and there we go just put a bird skull there you know classic uh little side table with a lamp on over in that corner just to bring a britain bring a bit of brightness as a tongue twister loves really is but so i like it i like the feel of it in here i do I do like the feel of it. It's still got that edge, but I just think it's just been lifted and it looks a lot better than it bloody did. So we're going to move on to the kitchen. Now, the kitchen's going to be a bit of a weird layout. I think what I'm going to do is have counters coming down here, but also coming around here, maybe wrapping around slightly around on this part as well. Uh, I do want a little bit of seating over in this area here. So maybe even a smaller dining table or something. Um, and we're going to be very limited because we've only got base game kitchens to use so uh, i think we're just going to have to go oh no we've got vampires but it's the colors with this oh that does look nice though well tickle my tits loves we're using this one don't know what orientation i'm going to use yet so i'm just going to start laying it out i'll be back in a minute all right then my little mensch fluffs here we go so i'm going to put in the oven onto this point here we're, we're sticking with the vampire cabinets and counters i just think they look nice what I've done here, though, is switched around the door area and put the door over on this side. It didn't make much changes out here, not at all. It just helped this kitchen be a little bit more of a better layout. So that's what we're going to do, my loves. Yes, we are indeed. Right, I'm flopping you to there. And then what I'm going to do is bring in 
little corner piece here. Now, I have gone ahead and used an extra pack. We've gone for some uh, get together. We have gone for some get together vibes with this house. So there are only three packs I'm going to stick with get together, vampires and base game. And that's all it's going to be, darling sisters. Right. I don't know why I grabbed that first. I need the fridge. I'm going to put the fridge over on this side here. Rather, rather gorgeous things. Plop it on that little level there. And I just love how it hugs that little corner of the room though. I'm very much for it. Right, I'm going to flop you to there. We're going to bring in a little corner piece here as well. I have a ring in my ears for some reason and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> don't know why I said that, but I do. I do have a ring in my ears. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> right, I'm going to put in a little one of these, the little cupboards above here. And can I just put in a full cupboard there? Would that be okay with you or will you? Oh no, do you know what? That looks smashing. Yes, yes, I'm very much for that. And this side here, I'm going to do as a little like coffee station area. So I'm going to do one more. Did I do that there? I'm sure I did. Yes, I think that's what I did. And then I did a corner piece on this edge here. So coming to here, I'm flopping that piece just on the edge there. And then what I can do is put the bin out the way and over into that corner there. Lovely jubbly. And a sink is now going up on this uh, level. Oh, this level this counter and I'm just gonna do maybe just a nice generic black one Let's look at you do you know what you match gorgeously in here now ignore this this is a coffee tip not it's not a coffee table at all Layton it's a breakfast table so I've just thought this little side over here would look lovely with a little like pat not patio set what am I going on about tables and chairs over in the bay window just so they got somewhere to sit down and have their breakfast rather than using the big kind of formal dining room which is what we're going to use in a sec uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is just stick that up there. And we have got a dishwasher as well. So there is a dishwasher here. Wondering if I should just put the dishwasher over that side like that. I really hate the colour of that. But that is the whitest that it goes. Uh, and there is not much I can do about it because I can't use anything else. Because base game, vampires and get together loves. That is the reasons. Um, I think up here, we definitely need some kind of extractor. And I'm probably just going to use this modern one with this kitchen. Yeah, it looks nice actually. And I'll flop that just above the oven space there. Now, I'm not going to litter out anything on the sides and stuff here. As I said, I want to keep this looking not like an EA house, but just something that is not going to be kind of taxing for your PCs or your laptops or even your console when you want to download this into your game. If you download this into your game. But I'm kind of happy with it. I'm happy with how that kitchen turned out. I like the layout of it. I like the kitchen kind of bunches up here, but it's still got the wrap around with the fridge on this side. Also changed out the arch for a double door as well, just to add a bit of like privacy from, well not privacy, separation from the kitchen and the living room because we've got this dining room here and I wanted that to be open. Having it all open was just a little bit too much for me um, for this particular build and that's what we're going to do. We're going to move straight onto the dining room as well because I have pre-planned everything and it's right here, darling sisters. So I'm going to flop this one to here. And I hope that is semi in the middle. I think it is. And I'm going to use these big dramatic chairs as well with this circle dining table, which is a base game dining table. And um, we're going to use these wonderful uh, vampire chairs that I love to death, but I just wish that they came in more swatches. I really, really do. But I still think it's lovely. Also put out some radiators over on this side. Look on the wall from vampires as well. Very good. Yes, it is. Um, And what else do we do? Oh, a tapestry. I had a lovely tapestry here. That we're going to flop down together just to bring a bit more of that red in just reminds me of like a family tree or something that tapestry and i'm very much for it and i'm thinking about putting this just underneath of it here um and i think bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt to be honest that's got everything that i need in it i'm just a bit apprehensive whether this is in the middle of the dining table or not no it's not it needs to come over one more there we go it's stunning oh yeah but lovely big dining room again. I think that is also a nice improvement on what we had before um, with yeah the base game one. Very nice indeed. I also went ahead and furnished the bathroom off of camera as well and also the hallway. So the bathroom was all complete. I would actually liked doing this bathroom. <laughs> I was actually excited about this bathroom for some reason. I just like the black and red together in here. Wouldn't have it personally, but I think it suits the goths. Uh, and also this hallway, just a little like side table. A um, bit of a coat, radiator, 
I'm absolutely for it. This level is complete and done and I'm happy with how it's come out. It still feels like it's kind of limited with the amount of stuff that I've used, which I'm vibing with this house. So what we're going to do now is move up to the bedrooms. Now, I've already picked out Cassandra's bedroom here, um, or bed here. I really want to go a little bit more, not dramatic, but just something that's going to be in the lines of that Victorian-esque vibe that's going through this house and probably the same of all of the bedrooms. Uh, so we're going to make a start on Cassandra's first. I'm going to go for these side tables here from get together rather stunning plopping one either side of the bed let's make sure that they are not creeping into the bed please and um, these tassel lamps as well from the vampire pack i'm going to bring in this base game rug it's just in a, like a dark gray and i just thought it suited this room didn't not to make it modern or anything but just something a little bit more cleaner um i didn't want to go to, because of the wallpaper's quite loud and also the bedding we're just muting things down here and there ever so slightly. Now we do need a wardrobe, so I'm going to use the vampire ones plus the get together mirror over in this corner here. Beautiful, beautiful things. Move this along a little bit more. Just make sure it's not creeping into the wall. There we go. Gorgeous. And then I thought, Cassandra always strikes me as an academic for some reason. So I always tend to build her. Um, I've, I've built her room quite a few times. <laughs> in various different ways i've done a modern goth house once that was part of my willow creek save file if you want to go and have a look at that for that video and um, if you haven't seen it um but i always make her kind of like an academic for some reason it's just in my head with cassandra so i gave her her own pc and desk as well in this room with some books some lovely flowers just to bring in more of that purple vibe now i didn't want to go for a purple chair over in this corner so i've gone for the base game black one then we've used this lamp here from vampires just underneath of it maybe she's just got her own little reading corner over in the moment uh, over in the moment there over in the corner there a little reading corner moment that i'm kind of feeling so it's still giving that goth edge um but i'm very much for it radiator on that side as well um but very nice i think that's just the perfect room for her really to be honest and i'm feeling it i think what we should do just up on this point here though is just give her a little picture or a painting of some description. That fits in perfect there. I'm going to use this little vampire um, collection of, yeah, collection of uh, paintings over in that corner there. Oh, Cassandra's going to be made up in here, I'll tell you that much. Okay, we're going to move on now to Alexander's bedroom. Now, Alexander is a child, so I'm going to be building this as a child's bedroom. Okay, so first off, we're going to do a bed. Now I'm going to use this base game bunk bed. Uh, I didn't pick this one first off, but I was just like, do you know what? I think he would like a little bunk bed moment, so I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to do it. Alexander, little bunk bed with a little sofa underneath as well, in case he wants to chill out with his friends and whatnot. We're going to get rid of you now, because that's what we had first off. The side table is not working. Right. I'm going to put this big castle moment in the bay window, right in the center of those there. Like that. Then we're going to bring this absolutely adorable that i mean that's just i love that i absolutely love that i think that's absolutely gorgeous and um, put a couple of the posters up around him maybe he likes a bit of reading as well takes after his sister but he's also looking at getting into a bit of a rock band i can imagine that bit of heavy metal is what he's into yes it is lovely gorgeous things we're gonna use this modern um wardrobe i just didn't think the older ones looked good and i tried all the others and it just that one there looked the best so we're gonna go for a bit more of a modern wardrobe the wonderful alexander we're going to put his desk directly underneath of these um windows here like that and then off to the side of it what i'm going to do is flop in a lovely little bookcase just there he's got his little comfy sofa that can come and have a little lie on if he wants to read his books or whatnot i'm going to do a toy box as well i'm going to put it into this orientation they should be able to get and use all this but as always with all of my builds, I will play a test it all beforehand. Uh, and I'm going to put this little mirror here in case he wants to look cool for school. You know, all of those good things. Kind of feeling it. It's not my style. But I think Alexander would absolutely love it. And it's much improved um, bedroom from what he had before, isn't it really? You know, just all of those little things. Not going, oh, I love when that happens. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, not overcrowded and just he's got everything in here to keep himself busy you know he's got he's got his own bloody ipad and laptop for goodness sake but i always see the goth family being quite well off as well for some reason it's just in my head that way so 
They've got a lot of things. Yeah, cute. Happy with that room. Absolutely happy. So, as I said, with this area here, don't want to do too much up here. I think what I want to do is bring that grand piano back into this area because that's where it is in the original house. So, let me grab a few bits out and then what we're going to do is move on to the nursery. Pretty simple. Pulled out a grand piano into this bay area. And I put up some red curtains in here just again to bring a chuck of that red through into this area here. And I think it's worked. Also lifted up a candelabra with the nine key to fit on the edge of the piano just for some dramatic moments. Uh, and nothing much really. I put another chest out here or another dresser even. Uh, and I put up this photo here from Get Together. And we can just pretend that that is Mortimer's great, great, great granddad. Um, kind of feeling that vibe. And not much else. I kind of left it as it was, to be honest with you. Now, the nursery. The nursery, there isn't a lot of stuff in base game for, well, babies. There, there might be when the update comes out. But at the minute, there isn't. So what I'm going to do is use those balloons as a light. We're going to put the bed here, the little crib. I'm going to also maneuver that one so it kind of fits in the middle of it there. So it's just a little bit of a softer vibe underneath it there thought about a little nursing chair just off the side of the crib here just in case bella you know has another one gorgeous and then i'm going to use this corner piece here which is base game it comes in a black swatch now which is fabulous and i'm going to put up this lamp on top of it now this lamp again didn't snap to it so i've had to lift that up with the nine key and um, just over into that area there what about a wardrobe for this room so i'm going to flop in a wardrobe for here just with all the baby's bits and bobs in. And also, I had a dresser. Where are you? There you are. Flopping a dresser over to this side. Underneath, of, I put two sconces up and that base game kind of butterfly and painting that I never use because it's awful. Um, and I'm, I'm going to bring these out. I know they're for toddlers, but I'm going to bring them out anyway just so it kind of reflects on this area being a bit of a nursery. Not much stuff in here. Nothing too, you know, over the top or... Um, heavily detailed but i think that just tells the story and again it was a lot better than it was so i'm happy with it so we're done with this level now forget the bathroom i'll do that um we're done with this level we're going to move up to mortimer and bella's very own um suite they've got their own suite up here which i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy and i'm gonna actually show you how i furnished this this is gonna be a bit of a bedroom slash dressing room moment a, a bathroom slash dressing room moment that's what we're gonna do yes yeah now this is double height so i have put up a big dramatic chandelier onto this level here um which i'm gonna put the bed underneath of here i think so let me pull out a few bits to decorate this all up and we'll put it around together so for the main bedroom we're gonna be putting this bed in here i'm gonna flop you into that position now my darling i'm gonna bring another side table put one there shuffle that bed along because we're missing details thank you and i'm gonna flop you into this side here my dear and um, we're gonna use that beautiful um table lamp we're gonna use the same table lamps that we've been using everywhere through this house i think it would work well i'm gonna use the same rug as well that i had in cassandra's room for this room just over in the bed area i think that just reflects on it quite gorgeously so that's what i'm gonna do uh, I'm going to be putting a fireplace in this room as well. I thought they would love their own little romantic seating moment in front of the fire. And I'm vibing with that idea. So I'm going to pop you to there. And we're going to bring in these base game chairs. Let me just chuck it all in and we'll shuffle it around together. Um, I'm going to bring these two closer together. But also far apart. It's a bit like their relationship. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm going to flop you to there. That's nice. I do like that position. And then I had, I think I had these above the fireplace. I did, but I pulled them down a bit lower and then bought in this dresser here with a rather dramatic rose um, bouquet on top of it. I thought that worked in well with that little mirror there just by it. So it's a nice flowed room. It's kind of got feelings of separation, which I like little seating area over facing the fireplace. And I'm kind of vibing. Now, into the dressing room and bathroom. So this is what I did. Now, I'm going to put... I didn't bother taking these off the walls because it was just a pain in the ass to get them on anyway. Um, so I've kept them up there. I'm going to do the sinks there. We're going to do the bath. Just here. Just here. And then we're going to separate off the dressing room with this um, divider. And then what I did is put the wardrobes 
into this kind of orient uh, around here. I think I'm going to have to shuffle this in just a little bit more. Let's not have you um, cutting through the bath, though, please. In fact, I think it was even more like this. Like around in this kind of position here. There we go. Which in turn gives us a little bit more room to shuffle around these wardrobes. And what I did was, that needs to go in a bit tight there. What I did was put a mirror just in between them like this. Um, can we go in a little bit more? Not really liking how squished this is feeling. It wasn't feeling, that maybe the bath needs to come in a little bit more actually. Um, it wasn't feeling this way when I tested it out. So I don't know what's going on here, um, but we'll, we'll make it better. Uh, I mean, anything's better than that EA stuff, you know? But I'm kind of vibing with that. Kind of vibing with that. And we did have a toilet, but I can't remember where I put it. Where did I put the toilet? Oh, no. There's going to be a floating toilet somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> God, I found it. <laughs> and then I put this toilet over on this wall here. Um, I could even put it there, really, couldn't I? Yeah, that's better. That's much better orientation. Um, yeah, we'll stick with that there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. And that bed is still coming out from the wall there. Can we stop it, please? For goodness sake. But I think that will work. I'll obviously play a test this to make it sure everything does work for your sims. But I think we are complete loves. The new and improved goth family home. Can we get some better lighting here? Not on this lot, you can't. I'm kind of happy with how it looks from the exterior. I think the exterior is my favourite. Um... Because it, you can, well, I can still see it's the goth house, you know. But I just feel, I just feel it's been updated rather deliciously. And with the all base game on the exterior, may I add. Oh, actually, no, I tell a lie. Tell a lie, it's not. We've got vampire trims. Vampire trims and also vampire um, dormers. We've got them going on. But I'm very pleased with it. So that's the exterior. We've got the garden out here. I did pop a little fountain out here as well, just for the drama purposes. Um, you've already seen all of this, but we're gonna show I'm gonna show you anyway. So come through the front door. You come through the front door by means of this rather dramatic front gate. <gasps> oh, right, and then through here into the main hallway. So this is the entrance hall going upstairs there. Gorgeous, gorgeous things, little window off to the side, into the living room, which I'm very happy with. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think that's came out nice, the living room. And then straight through into the kitchen area. So you've got your little breakfast table off to the left. And then a lovely kitchen flowing all the way around. Yep, opens out onto a lovely little dining room as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm very much happy with that. Absolutely. We have got a toilet down here. I haven't furnished the one upstairs yet, but it, it's literally going to be the exactly, well, exactly the same as this bathroom. So, nice toilet. Like how that came out. Very much too. Then you come around to here. You go up these dramatic stairs onto a rather substantial landing um, with a gorgeous grand piano. And then you come into here. First off into the nursery, I think. Yep. Yeah. Nope. 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 Into Alexander's bedroom. So... Reflecting on what it was before, the colours and all of that good stuff. Very much for it. Just a little bit more updated, you know. Over to this side. I think this might be the empty bathroom. It is. We'll furnish that. Don't you worry. And also into the nursery. I mean, the nursery is kind of empty in itself. But you can develop this as the child, if they have a child, gets older. And with the new um, update that's coming soon. And also into Cassandra's bedroom as well. Very purple, very violet, but I'm kind of feeling it all the same. Got everything that she would need to keep herself busy. And then you come down to this way. And there's another dramatic staircase coming up here, which the camera's going to be flying all the way around now into um, Bella and Mortimer's gorgeous bedroom suite. Very much feeling that. Do you know what I might even do? I might put a screen behind those chairs as well. I think I'm going to put a divider behind those chairs there just to add a little bit more separation, but I'm kind of feeling it. Nice little fireplace moment. Beautiful, beautiful. Double doors into a rather dramatic dressing room and bathroom that I hope works. I'm sure it will. But my loves, we are done for today. We are done with the goth family house 
2.0 um, reimagined by me. Now, I have got many more um, EA pre... I have got many more pre-existing EA houses that I do want to tackle. So in the future, look out for them. Now, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching this. Leave me some lovely comments down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.